Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hida Sosman. Thank you so much for clicking. I really do appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step process and easy, easiest process on how to apply to schools here in Germany. So let's get right into this video. Basically, school here in Germany is free, okay? It's free. But then there's a condition. You need to have 10,236 euros in your account. So that's the requirement you need to study in Germany. Before you apply to schools here in Germany, there's a website, a unique website that I always advise people to go to. Now go to, take your laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just start click, start typing right now. Go to um, www.daad.de. Should I repeat myself? So go to www.daad.de. Boom. Now the website is there. So if you go to this website, there are so many schools to choose from. So many study programs. There are so many English programs to choose from. Most especially for masters. Okay, but with bachelor's program. Um, it's limited if you want to study in English, but then there are still English programs for bachelors. But when it comes to masters, there are so many English taught programs. You can also filter and then search for tuition free schools. Now, that's what we are interested in. That's why I say studying Germany for free. So, there are so many tuition free schools you, you can get from this website. Go through them, take your time, sit down, look at the study programs. Do you like it? Now, if you are searching for schools, what I would advise you have a diary or have an Excel sheet on your lap on your laptop. If you see any school you are interested in, take a pen, take your laptop, type it, put it down before you forget. Because you really want to be going back to the website to, trying to search for a school you saw. So if you see any school you are interested in, just write the school down, the study program so that you don't forget about the school, okay? I hope I'm making sense. So yeah, that's the website. That's the first thing you have to do. Go to that website and search for the schools. Now, before you go ahead and then apply to schools, there are certain documents the school would ask you to, you know, upload or send it to them or whatever. However way they're going to get it, they need some documents from you. First, they'll need your bachelor's certificate. And that's if you're going to study for a master's program. Your bachelor's certificate, your university transcripts, your high school living certificate. So your high school living certificate, it's a certificate that you have been given after completion of your high school. Mostly in West Africa, we call this WAEC or West African examination. I can't complete the rest, I've forgotten. So yeah, you need your WAEC certificate, basically. And then you also need most schools, yeah. I don't know if every school, but most schools would ask you for motivational letter or a letter of purpose also you need you also have to bring in your english proficiency being it ielts or TOEFL or english proficiency from your university that's if you are lucky some schools will just ask you to they don't want to stress you okay they'll ask you to bring english proficiency from your university that's if your bachelor's program was in english or you are from an english speaking country so if you're not from an English speaking country, definitely most schools would ask you to submit IELTS or TOEFL, which personally I don't really like it. Okay. It's stressful to go and sit down and study for another exams and you know, yeah. That's just by the way. <coughs> and some schools also ask you to um submit a proposal. So a proposal is just something short to show them what you you would want to do in your final year thesis. It's just a few schools that would ask you to submit a proposal. So these, are, I hope I didn't miss any documents. So these are all the documents the school would ask you to submit. And before you submit your documents, some schools would ask you to certify your documents. How do you do this certification? It's very simple. So what you have to do is get all your documents, that's your bachelor's, your bachelor's certificate, your transcript, your high school living certificate, your English proficiency, and even I would recommend you to add your letter of purpose or your motivational letter. So send these documents to the German embassy. Don't just go there. You have to book, you have to book an appointment. Okay? So you book an appointment, they give a day to come and send your documents there. I would advise you to make at least four copies each of your original document and when you're sending your document to the embassy 
you need to add your original document. If you don't add the original documents, they're not going to accept it, okay? So add the original documents with the photocopied ones and then send them to the embassy. They're going to certify each document for you. And they would ask you to come for these documents after a week. I hope I'm making sense. So if you are going back for your documents, make sure your original documents is returned because your original document, my brother, my sister, it's very important so make sure your original document is always with you okay that's for the certification now let's look at how you now apply to the universities before applying to universities here in germany there are two options so we have the summer semester and then the winter semester depending on when you want to go to school okay or when you want to start your master's program now you will find most master's program being offered in the winter semester so a lot of international students come during the winter semester there are also a few programs that are being offered during the summer semester. So the winter semester starts in October and then the summer semester starts usually in April. So I would advise that for international students, if you would want to apply to universities here in Germany, you should apply very early, okay? As soon as the portal is opened, apply really, really early. For winter semester, you should apply by January, you should start your application. But for summer semester, I'm not so sure. Yes, I think from November, you should also start looking up if the portals are open and start applying to for the summer semester. Now, that's the application process. And there are also two ways to apply to universities here in Germany. Either you upload your documents on the school's portal or website, or either you send your documents through UniAssis. So if you're lucky and you're, you can apply to the school directly, that's uploading your documents to the school's website. That's like so easy, okay? So with that one, if you have schools like that, that means you can apply to many schools. Cause most German in Germany, most schools here don't ask for you don't they don't need um application fee. Like application fee is usually free, okay? You don't need to pay anything. So yeah, you can apply to as many schools as you want. But with the uni assist, okay, that's the other way you can also apply to schools here in Germany. With the uni assist, so the uni assist acts like a middleman. I that's what I call it. It acts like a, like a middleman. So the uni assist is between you and the university. So what this uni assist is, is that um, it's a, just a platform, okay, where you upload the document. So that this uni assist, they have a connection. They have a relationship with the university. So you upload your documents on this uni assist. And uni assist, they are going to access your documents and send it to the universities. I hope that's making sense. So the, with this uni, uni assist, which is not free, it comes with a charge of 75 euros. I know quite a lot of money, 75 euros. That's the first time if you want to apply to any assist and with your subsequent times is it's less than 75 euros. I'm not really sure of, of the amount, but yeah, it's not up to 75 euros if you want to apply for the second time using uni assist. I hope that's making sense. So that's how you would up, um, upload your documents to the investors. Also, <clears throat> with some schools, after uploading your documents online on the school's website, they would ask you to send the hard documents to them by post. Okay, so if you, if you want to send these documents by post, please use a reliable post office or a reliable company, a shipping company, whatever company that was going to send your docu documents. Make sure they are reliable. If you're in Ghana, you know Ghana Post, please don't use Ghana Post. It's going to take forever for the school to get your documents and you will not get your admission. So please most reliable one dhl is even a german post office so use dhl use fedex i know it's expensive but just sacrifice pay for it not all schools i would ask you to send hard documents but some school would, would ask you to send your hard document advice if you are sending your hard documents please don't add your original documents they don't need your original documents just make photocopies and send them to the investors don't do not add your original documents original documents they are yours they are very precious to you okay don't ever send it to anybody even if somebody asks for your original documents always they always give it to you back so yeah that's it for the application process i hope you didn't skip any you didn't skip this video because every part of this video is so important for you to follow okay so now you've uploaded your documents you've sent your documents you are waiting for admission just wait patiently. Please do not send the school emails. Okay. They are, if 
if you have been given admission they will send you an email even if you don't get admission they will still send you an email so don't be sending their school an email if you have if, if you've gotten admission or not they would always they would always um oh my god english eh? hmm. they would always notify you if you've had admission or not personally i would advise you to apply to many schools okay don't limit yourself why would you apply to only one school or two schools at least apply to three schools if you are lucky enough to even have schools that don't ask you to apply using uni assist in fact you can even apply to five schools nobody is going to <laughs> arrest you okay why there's no harm in in applying to many schools and also if you are thinking that oh i have a a second class lower will i get admission look just apply just apply there's no harm in trying that's the thing okay there's no harm in trying also before you apply just look at the school's requirements if you fit in it okay some people send me messages or oh, i think i have a second class lower my transcript is not good i don't know if i'll get admission personally I, I can't tell you if you get admission or not unless you try why don't you try just go ahead apply and see if you're going to get admission or not so i advise you to apply to as many schools as possible because the schools are there okay thank you so much i think this is the end of this video i promise you guys i wasn't going to make this video long and i hope you listen to me very well so i need a favor from you guys before we end this video i know how to remind you guys to like this video for me make sure you share make sure you leave a comment if you like this video and all, do all the good stuff to it youtube gets to recommend my video to other people i know some of you guys love me genuinely and you want me to go higher and higher and higher so that's the only way you could support me like the video for me and then yeah share with your friends and everybody thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye bye